forces of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea. A new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancakes. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken. No one will be able to be armed. We're going to take all guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! The answer to 1984 is 1776. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Aaron Dykes. Today is Friday, January 11, 2013. Tonight, Illinois governor wants gold registration as the control freak and revenge-hungry government wants to audit gold sales. Meanwhile, China is becoming the world's largest prepper. What are you doing to get your house in order? Then... British host Piers Morgan calls the U.S. Constitution your little book. You come in, you brandish your little book as if I don't know My what's little book, there. that's the Constitution yeah. of the United States. Our founding Plus, secrets of World War Z leaked and Operation Gladio, the Cold War era black op, continues. That's up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. <laughs> I want to know where the gold's at. That's the Illinois government talking as they propose a new gold registration bill and it has yet to be introduced, but it closely follows their attempt to have guns outlawed and for people to register outlawed firearms so they can grandfather them in, all part of big government's control freak nature, especially in places like Illinois and the other uh, mega urban centers. Now, Illinois already, uh, passed a bill earlier in 2012 the precious metal the precious metal purchasing act SB3341 that states a person who's in the business of purchasing pre precious metal shall obtain a proof of ownership create a record of sale and verify the identity of the seller provides a person who is in the business of purchasing precious metal shall not pay for the precious metal in cash and shall record the method of payment overall they're trying to do away with cash actions make sure government has its little finger in all the pies and of course people like FDR already banned the gold in this country back in 1933, so these moves are not unprecedented. We just know they head towards tyranny, so not a good sign. They're trying to ban guns and gold, anything else that could be construed to be connected with freedom. Meanwhile, Rick Perry, governor here in Texas, has called Governor Cuomo's gun ban unconstitutional. He pretty much says that they can do it, they can try to pass it, but it will be challenged in courts. That's Rick Perry, of course, who talks the talk, but doesn't always walk the walk, as he's working worked with fascist private partnerships here in Texas to establish by stealth these toll roads, the Trans-Texas Corridor, all part of the NAFTA superhighway. Uh, you know, never turn your back on a politician. It's not always the weapon. It's the intent of the person holding the weapon, although it is nice to hear the rhetoric from him, sometimes challenging the feds, uh, but he's clearly not trustworthy. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Yeah.